What is up, everybody? I'm back with another video, man. Today we're gonna be reacting to reading leaked OnlyFans messages by Birdman, bro. You into it, bro? You know what I'm saying? The goat Birdman. All right, what's going on, guys? So today is gonna be a very special video because for all of us normal people, we are going to get a sneak peek behind the scenes look at the mysterious world of OnlyFans. Facts. Now, to you guys see the fans, title. I got all of person, these bro. screenshots off Twitter. And as you guys know, whenever I start the video saying I got this off Twitter, you know it's going to be good. But there's Facts. like this Twitter account. It's called That's like OnlyFans like Out of Context, something like that. And basically, from what I understand, what it is is like, I guess some of these girls just like, I guess guys as well. I'm not sure. Maybe. I don't know. But they screenshot some of the private messages that they get on there and you know they share them with the world just so you can see how crazy it really gets and honestly after looking through some of these i would bet that these aren't even like the craziest ones out there there are probably some that are like so wild that you probably don't even want to leak those right you, you don't <laughs> want to leak the ones from the real weirdos because they might be the type to like find you in real life Bad. i don't know about you guys but i think the whole concept is pretty bro icky. bro the people that be like simping over girls like only fans and like twitch and stuff are so weird bro i remember there was like a um a reddit post on viral like a couple like probably two three years ago bro it was about a dude and it was his twitch and she was going to his gym and bro he was like plotting on on plotting on how he will uh want to go up and talk to her and like how he got her phone number from the from the gym thing i was like bro that's crazy <laughs> intriguing like what exactly do these guys find so appealing about this whole system that they decide to pay money for something that they can just get for free like everyone else so Thanks. I guess we're about to find out, so let's go ahead and take a look. I picked like five of them out that I thought were interesting. There was a lot, but uh, I guess we'll start with this one. What is the smallest dick you let fuck you? Like, how many inches <laughs> is the minimum? Wow, okay, you know what? Honestly, I don't hate the question. Not a bad question. I actually would love to see what she answered on this one. I'm just curious uh, if she actually took it serious, which I believe they do. Since since these people are, like, paying for this, uh, I think they actually do get, like, a, a serious answer. I think that's, like, part of the whole appeal of it. Like, you can just ask them any, like, wild question like this that you want, and since you're paying money, they actually answer it, I guess. But probably not the best question <laughs> you should be asking, you know what I mean? Because basically, you're, you're kind of implying that, like, yeah... I got a little meat, you know, I'm rocking that three. Nothing wrong with the three, you know what I mean? Three inches is enough, of course. But you probably don't want to go around advertising that, I would say. Uh, I mean, but let's be honest, bro. He is never meeting up with that girl ever, bro. So it don't really matter to him, bro. You don't got nothing to lose, bro. But here's another one. So first he said, sorry, too soft core. And then later on, he says, I resubscribed. <laughs> so if you look at the dates here, so the first message was on September 8th. I guess he was not too happy with the content. But then I don't know what happened. October 7th, one month later, he changed his mind. He resubbed. Maybe she switched up the content. I don't know. Maybe she read that. She's like, you know what? I agree. Let me switch it up. Maybe he was just down bad. He's like, you know what? Fuck it. This will do. I guess I'll sub again. I don't know what happened here, but that's kind of wild how things can change. You know what I mean? I hope you find what you're looking for, my man. Can I get a refund? I thought you were thicker. <laughs> wow. Um, honestly. <laughs> but he said, hold on, what he said? This can change. You know what I mean? I hope you find what you're looking for, my man. Can I get a refund? I thought you were thicker. <laughs> wow. Um, honestly, I feel like maybe he has a valid point here. I don't know. Maybe he was catfished. We don't know. We would probably have to see the pictures, get some visual evidence here of what That's... was advertised compared to what was given because he might have a point or maybe 
he's just trying to finesse, you know what I mean? Maybe there was nothing wrong, and, you know, he just wants his money back. It could go either way, honestly. And similar to this one, we have this guy here who actually stepped it up to another level. This one actually made me laugh. Can I get a refund? I thought your P was fat. <laughs> I mean... I don't know what to say, man. But the same thing, right? I guess. I don't know. Let's continue. I think we'll end it with this one because this was pretty good. This is probably the best one, I would say. Five out of ten. Size is good, but the color is a little funny to me. Also, I'm not personally the biggest fan of hair, but everything looks clean, which is super important to me. Honestly, though, it looks maybe like it could do with a little moisturizer. And then the guy responds with, what do you mean by moisturizer? Now, if you uh -huh. didn't pick up on what's going on here, I believe what's going down is that he actually sent her. What I got from that was hair color, bro. I don't know what he's talking about, about moisturizer. For a picture of his meat to review and get rated and that was her response to what she saw I i've actually heard that this happens quite a bit on there like i don't really get it like do you really need a rating for your dick i don't know i i think maybe it's more so the fact that maybe they're excited that they got a girl to actually look at it like maybe that's an appealing prospect i i don't know it seems kind of weird to me as far as the actual review, though, um, I, I mean, my guy got a 5 out of 10. She said good size. That's always great to hear. Um, but then she said something about how he, he got, like, ashy meat or something. Like, it needs to be moisturized. <laughs> I have never in my life heard that one before. I don't even know what's going on here. I would say we need to see the visual evidence no, to see what's see going down but honestly on one, i don't think i want to see the visual Facts. evidence actually you know what maybe you could slide me whatever you paid her i might be down to give you a rating as well in that case you know maybe we figure something out but to make things even that worse Berman, then he bro. says uh, what's moisturizer <laughs> like I, apparently this guy doesn't even know what moisturizer is i i, I don't know man you are just down terrible i guess because that, that's not I'm not even able to comprehend what's what's going on here. Yeah, but hopefully this guy is able to invest in some moisturizer for his ashy meat and get that fixed. There was no mention of uh, balls anywhere in the rating, I think. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure if that's included. Maybe you got to pay extra to get your balls rated. I don't know if that's something people are interested in or not. But anyways, uh, I, I think that's it. Let's let's go ahead and wrap it sounded like you're a little bit too invested, Birdman. Put up on that one, but I, I thought this was a pretty good insight into the world of OnlyFans. Get us a little bit of uh, inside the mind of what some of these guys are thinking, because I think for the most part, I, I think a lot of the money actually comes from like these private messages and stuff, like where people can like send tips or whatever, something like that. It's not necessarily just like the uh, you know initial subscription fee or whatever. I think. That's just, like, to get in. Then they got, like, the DLC content. You know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta pay extra for all the other stuff type <laughs> that situation. Said the DLC. Think, anyways, that's pretty much it for the video, man. Y'all let me know your thoughts down below. I thought it was interesting. Maybe we can do another one of these in the future when we get some more messages piled up. We'll see what they continue to say. But that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to have a like rating. If you enjoyed, subscribe. If you are not already, follow me on Twitter. Links in the description. But yeah, bro, that's gonna be the end of this video, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you could do me a favor, you know what I'm saying? Just subscribe, like, and subscribe and like, bro. Close to the subscribers, you know what I'm saying? Help me out. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video, bro. Like, comment, subscribe, and we out, cuz.